Hello good people, this is Matt Fisher back with another exciting tutorial for you guys today as always and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to hide your ad blocker from any website. So we're on our Mac right now but this will also work on Windows with the same steps, this is very much cross platform. But the whole premise and the idea behind this tutorial is that sometimes you'll go to certain websites, Forbes is probably the easiest example, and it'll tell you, hey, you can't get to our page because you have an ad block enabled. You either need to disable it, whitelist our site, or give us money in order to get to our webpage. Now, this is going to show you how to hide your ad blocker extension from these websites, still get to their website, and still block the ads once you're on their page. Now to do this, I'm gonna to need to install the anti-ad block killer, and this is the shim, but it's a makeup of a script managing extension, a filter list, and a user script. And not only is this cross OS, like I was saying earlier, this is also cross browser and even cross ad blocking browser extension. So there's a lot of combinations you can do this. You can do this in Firefox, Safari, even Edge. But today I'm gonna to be using plain old ad block and Google Chrome, because I think that's gonna be the most common combination out there for the user base. Now, before I make any changes, I just wanna show you guys that if I do go to Forbes, it should tell me, or I know it will tell me like, hey, you can't get to our page because you have an ad block enabled. And even if I click continue to the website, it's still gonna put me back into this loop. So I just wanted to show that to you guys to prove that everything we're about to do right now is gonna make the difference. So the first thing we need to do is install our script managing extension and I'm gonna use Tamper Monkey, which is uh, probably the most popular one for Chrome. There's others out there, but even in other tutorials, I've seen them use Tamper Monkey. So just because I'm more familiar with that, I'm definitely gonna stick to it. It's gonna open up this other thank you welcome page. I'm gonna click back from that and we're gonna go back to GitHub. Uh, and by the way, I'll have a link to this GitHub in the description down below. So you guys will have links to everything that you need to do. So it'll be very easy for you to set this up yourself. So next I'm going to subscribe to the filter list. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Go ahead and do that for the channel as well while you're at it. <laughs> so that's all set. Now we're going to return here and install the user script. Now it doesn't really matter where we install it from. You can install it from whichever place you like, but it's gonna open up in Tamper Monkey and then you wanna go ahead and click on that install button. And that's it, it's all set. So now to test, if we go back to Forbes, you guys will see that I get right through to the site. I don't get hit with the splash screen. I don't get prompted to donate or to whitelist or to disable or anything like that. I get right through. It's that simple, it's that easy. And this method is gonna work for, I'm gonna say 99.9% .9 of the websites that have some sort of splash screen or stoppage page because you have an ad blocker. And again, the link to this GitHub page is gonna be in the description down below. But that's the video that I have for you guys today. If you get stuck in any step, just drop me a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. But if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button. But other than that, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and take care.